Good afternoon and welcome to CCTV News. It's Thursday the 23rd of November and I'm Amanda Pardew. And I'm David Baxter. Today's top stories are... Major repairs to local sea defences are soon to come to Clapton's coast. Is there to be a multi-million pound leisure complex heading for Tendrim? And a headache for motorists in the new town centre revamp. Plus all your weekend weather and sport updates. Today's top story. Local sea defences in the Clacton and Holland area are about to be totally revamped thanks to a quarter of a million pound makeover. The plans bring with them many disruptions, but Tendrin District Council say their aim is to keep Britain's Sunshine Coast defended for many years to come. Reporting from the scene is CCTV's Penny Colgate. £250,000 is the price set to patch up Holland on Sea coastal defences. Work will begin on Monday and a diversion route will be set up to keep the area clear. This could cause inconvenience, however the long term benefits will be appreciated by locals in the future. Looking back you can see, the defences here are really not strong enough for the rough conditions of the sea. Um, my name is Stephen Holland, I work for the JBP Contractors and what we intend to do is a job that's going to take 20 to 30 weeks and we're going to with the step alignment, we're going to, sort of, instead of having all the small steps, we're going to have three, four sets of large steps come out. Uh, and then we're going to improve the top of the promenade, and just sort of lay it all out, lay new, um, lay new surface, uh, just for a 200 metre stretch, just along the promenade behind. As you can see, this is just one of the safety precautions that has already been taken in the to prevent erosion. Measures that have been taken further down the coast are similar to those that will soon be in Holland. How do you feel about the new developments that are being made on the sea defences? And how do you think this will affect the Clacton Coast and its locals? Well, I personally think this will be a terrific idea, um, considering I'm a resident here for some ten years. So long Clacton's been in a tiny town centre. Well, this is the situation down here with progress beginning to start and a clear demonstration of how the local residents feel. Now it's back to the studio with Dave. Plans have been proposed for a new multi-million pound leisure complex in Tendrum which includes an Olympic sized swimming pool. The scheme is set to centralise facilities for the Clacton, Frinton and Walton area in time for the London 2012 Olympics. Local councillors hope that by building the new complex, youngsters will be more inclined to use the facilities, encouraging them to be more active. It will also save people from travelling to use Colchester's and Ipswich's existing facilities which get overcrowded. Developers are hoping to meet on Monday to finalise proposals. Still to come. All the weather and sport for our region, plus news of Clacton Children in Need fundraising events. But first, the revamp of Clacton's town centre has caused major difficulties for motorists and bus drivers in recent weeks. Reporting exclusively for CCTV is Rachel Minden. <laughs> As you can see, this is one of the main roads in Clacton Town Centre and has heavy roadworks and has caused many problems. Well, it's affecting us taxi drivers because we've got to go round and round the blocks. It's causing chaos and there's going to be nothing but aggro. There's going to be more accidents. Um, well, I hope they're going to push through the town centre. Well, the present moment, they don't seem to be. And if you take their time, they'll be everything. Um, several of the roads in Brown Town are um, locked off, and I think people are, are not coming in because of this. Down the road, you come in the fog there, you can't go down that road. And we're professional drivers. We still have a hard job getting around the town. Well, I think there'll be a good thing in the end, but they're causing a lot of disruption. And I've had quite a few people who have been telling me that it's affecting their businesses. The roadworks have been causing many problems as drivers are becoming confused to which roads to drive in. This increases the number of accidents. Well, I think eventually it's actually going to be pretty good. Um, we've obviously got a bit of a circuit here and you've got a lot of the cars uh, racing around. I think in, in many ways they're trying to stop that. Obviously they change the direction of um, the way the roads are facing and that, so you might not get so much of a circuit, you might break that up a bit. Also as well, it looks a lot, a lot cleaner and nicer if you've got brand new road system. Uh, but yeah, at the moment it's a bit of a pain because you've got lots of traffic building up, you've got a lot of roadworks everywhere. 
I think eventually it's going to be for the better for Clacton. So, from a policing point of view, it's going to be quite good. Okay, here with me now is Jay Timothy, a Year 10 student from Clacton County High School who participated in a sponsored cycle from Clacton Pier to Walton and back to Clacton again. Okay, well first of all Jade, I'd like to congratulate you on your magnificent you. achievement. Yep. How long did it take you to do this? Well, we thought it would take a bit longer, but it actually took just under four hours. So. Oh wow, that's really good, especially as you've done this in um, fancy dress. Did this yeah. take you longer? Well, the night before we spent several hours um, preparing our outfits, like making them out of old clothes, keeping with the yellow and red for Pudsey, obviously, oh, yeah. so people could notice us, and um, just like wearing all our costumes and everything like that. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, it did slow us down a tiny bit, but because there was lots of clothing um, dragging us behind, but yeah. we just kept on through with it. Okay, and did you get much um, support from your staff and students at your school? Yeah, we got lots and lots of support from students and um, friends, yeah. and obviously teachers. We had lots of sponsors, mm -hmm. and they were always like keeping up to date, like asking us how it was going and things like that. So. That was very supportive. Okay. How much have you raised from this bike? Well, so far, we haven't um, actually calculated it all, but I think we've got over £150. So we think that's doing quite well, but we might have slightly over when we count it up. Oh, that's excellent. And we also Thank know you. that Clacton County High School also <coughs> held a fundraising event for Year 7 students, and they raised a further £186 for children in need. OK, now we've got Amanda with the weekend's weather. Thanks, David. After a breezy start with some sunny intervals this morning, there is more sunshine ahead for this afternoon. However, despite a clear day, temperatures will drop from 13 to 9 degrees Celsius this evening. As we head into tomorrow, there will be light showers with some sunny spells throughout the day. Temperatures will reach a high of 12 degrees. And the weekend ahead looks set to follow a similar pattern. Saturday will be full of light showers, although there will be some sunny spells. However, things will brighten up for Sunday, with sunny intervals and temperatures reaching a high of 13 degrees. As we head into Monday, the weather will not stay as bright and we are forecasting rain throughout the day. Now for sport in the region. Well, there were some impressive results for Clacton Town's youth team this week. The under-13 scored seven against Colchester's Athletic, who managed four goals. The under-12s beat Holster Blues 6-0, whilst Clacton United Reds drew 2 all with Holland FC. In Rugby Union, Clacton Kestrel scored 22-18 to against Hadley. That's all we have time for today, but we'll be back tomorrow with all the latest stories from our region. This is CCTV. I'm David Baxter with Amanda Pargin. Good afternoon and goodbye.